stuff first, stuff first. It's my go-to fall look. It's giving a subtle, soft, yet so beautiful, velvety, soft matte type of beat. And yeah, I'm loving it. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So we are about to do a quick makeup get ready with me video getting ready to go to a concert i'm like let me just put this camera up and share my makeup faves for right now with you guys so first i'm gonna prime my face this is the first layer of priming and i'll be using this bobbi brown moisturizer it is almost done absolutely love this whether i'm doing a soft matte or i'm doing like a dewy look so i'm gonna spread that all over my face i'm gonna try to do my makeup in like 40 minutes i have faith in myself i hope y'all have faith in me too i didn't do my brows yesterday because my eyebrows are micro shaded and i like the slightly thinner look i like the slightly thinner come um, man i'm doing my face and i'm recording what you need blush do you have it what blush like, as soon as she start getting into makeup, she start using all my stuff. What blush? The, the Sephora palette one? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna come again. I might need a setting spray though. Which one? Um, that's how I actually found the the pencil. The what? The, the Charlotte? Spray fell and I saw it. So. You can't. I'm not gonna use this one today. So okay. So like I was saying, um, my eyebrows are actually micro shaded, so. You know, I don't really need it, but if I was to do my brow, I would use the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm going to use this Too Faced Concealer to clean up under my brow. Now when I say clean up, we just mean like outline the brow. So I'm going to take this Real Technique brush and just buff that out. You don't have to come all the way down. For a second layer of priming, I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. And she's almost done. I need to get on Fenty's PR list. Like, what? I need to find out who is in charge because I need Fenty products. So I'm going to work that in. And I put it under my eyes as well. Dab that without rubbing. Now I'm going to let it just sit for a minute. Adjust the dry down before we apply anything else. And if you're like me right now, we ain't got no time to be sitting here idle. So I'm gonna take this little fan that I got from Amazon. I'll link it in my description box down below and let this dry because we can't be sitting here. We ain't got the time, honey. Now for our foundation, we're gonna be using this one size foundation. It is a soft matte. It's called the Turn Up the Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation, and I'm using the shade dark deep in 25 so we're doing a soft matte look today so i just spray a little bit on my forehead first i use the same brush that i used to do under my eye to do over my eye i'm gonna put excess here off of my brush don't want to waste that and then i'm going to apply the product to the rest of my face and also you don't need a lot of this product because it's full coverage or if you need fuller coverage, it's buildable. But for me, it's super full. Well, not super full, but it's full enough. I'm using this dense Morphe brush. And we just press that product into our skin. It looks crazy in this light. But I promise you, it is... <laughs> it is actually my shade. But in this light, it looks crazy. What the hell? Child, I hope this video comes out good because this light is not playing with me right now. I'm using the light from my vanity to do my makeup. And this is what I say when a little goes a long way because I think I use too much. For the tighter areas, I have this Morphe M173 brush. And I'm going to use that to get around my edges because my brush is too big to work up here. Now to conceal, I'll be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer and I'm using the shade Magic, well, this is a Magic Touch concealer and this is number 16.
and to contour i'm using the nars laguna number four so this dark shade right here it's so pretty and i'm using this c dual complexion brush we're going to contour our face to get back that warmth see we're warming up already and then i go under here And then under here, make sure we got our cut crease. Not cut crease, our cut jawline. And then I'm gonna take the other side of the brush, dip it in. I'm going to just swoop it up, up into my eyes, and then across here. And this is gonna give me a lifted look. I absolutely love this cream bronzer. It just warms me up so good. Mm. Okay, so we got our damp beauty sponge. And then we're just going to blend out our concealer. And you're not rubbing, you're just dabbing. And I'm bringing the concealer a bit over just so it lifts my face. This concealer is so stinking good the coverage the blendability and even though i'm using a sponge i don't feel like it's like eating away all my concealer now real quickly i'm going to take the same same brush that i had my contour on and i'm just going to put it on the tip top of my nose and then down now to set our concealer we're going to use this huda beauty easy bake powder and i'm using kunafa i think it's pronounced but it's this yellowish shade. I love it. It makes me feel so warm, especially for fall time. Can't get enough. So I dip my little triangle in the, in the powder and then I dab the excess on my hand. And then we go under the eye. And I just take the excess off my hand and then go around my, my nose and on my chin go around my mouth to where my last smile lines are we're looking crazy right now but it will all come together i promise and then on the forehead so for the other areas i just use the excess just a little bit especially for the nose we don't want it to be too much on the nose so make sure that you dab that onto your hand and then So while that is doing what it needs to do, I'm going to take my same um, Real Technique crease brush and just uh, dab my eyelid. I mean, we have concealer and foundation on there. So we're just going to make sure that there's no creasing by brushing it out. And then we're going to use this Morphe M451 brush, dip it in our powder, take off the excess powder and then dab it on our lid so that everything sets in place, the foundation and the concealer that we have on there, so we don't get creasing on our lids. So it's time to bronze and we're using the NARS Laguna number six. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe E4 brush. And so we brush upwards. You can grab a shadow brush, dip it into your bronzer, and then we're going to work it right here on our nose in the corner where our eye is, and then swoop that around our lid, and then outwards over here. We're gonna take this e.l.f. complexion duo brush, and then like go down on the bridge of our nose. Well, not on the bridge, on the side. And then the tip top, like so. So the blush that we're using today is this Juvia's Place Volume 2 blush. Saharan Blush Volume 2. And I'm using this shade right here. This ready shade. And my brush broke. <laughs> I have this other blush brush from Rare Beauty. Like I use it if I want to go like deep blush. But if I just want like right here, like what I'm going for, I have to use this Morphe brush that was broken and dab it right 
here. I have this Morphe powder. It's a finishing powder that is discontinued. And I absolutely love it. If you have a MAC Studio Finish, you can use that. But I love the finish of this. I don't know why they discontinued because it's so good. I have this Fit Me Finishing Powder. I'm using 130. It's really light, so you don't want to go crazy with this. Just to give us like a slight bit more highlight under the eye. But we're just like literally seeing under the eye, like right in the crease. And now our first round of setting spray, we're using the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. This is an OG, I love her. She melts my skin without me looking too dewy. Keep my soft matte going, an obsession, okay? Okay, we just spent 30 minutes doing this. Cool, cool, cool. Now for mascara, I'm using this Milk Makeup Mascara. It's the Kush High Roll Mascara. For lashes, I'm using these lashes that I got from Amazon. But what I like to do is I like to cut the end part of it just to make sure it lines up with my lashes. So I'm gonna link this in my Amazon storefront for you guys. So I cut it and then I use this glue. What kind of glue is this? It's the Lash Couture Super Strong Glue. I have a love-hate relationship with it because sometimes it works really well, sometimes it gets on my nerves. So I can't glue this on camera or I'm on myself and it's gonna take way longer than it needs to. So I'm gonna have to come back. The lashes are on and they're looking cute. I'm gonna line my water lines using the Sephora pencil and it's in a deep brown. I'm gonna take my NARS palette and use this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but it looks like that. It looks like that. And we're just gonna put this brown underneath our waterline. Just smudge it out. Okay, I need it darker than that. I need it Zorker. So we're gonna try the Morphe palette that I have. Again, you can use a deep bronze. Or if you have a eyeshadow palette with a deep brown, you can use that. So I'm creating a slight smoky under eye but not really it's more like a brown I think I got some powder in my eye child so I'm using my sponge to make sure that none of the powder get like on my face okie dokie or the chokey now we're gonna take some mascara I swear I got powder in my eye yeah, I'm just using some of my powder just darken a little bit Darken some areas. If you feel like you want to be more bronzed, go in with that powder girl. And I'm using what's left on my little triangle to cut underneath my cheeks for a more angular look. And then use the brush to buff that out. Now for my lips, I'll be using the MAC lip pencil in the shade Chestnut. But if you want a deeper shade, if the chestnut isn't dark enough for you, I recommend the Sephora pencil, the Sephora Cool pencil. So, so stinking good. It's an eye pencil, but it works so great as a lip liner if you want a deeper brown. So I did a slight overline of my lip. Not too crazy, but just like slightly. And then we're gonna be using this lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the shade Butterscotch. Oh my God, I have been obsessed with this lip gloss. Like so beautiful. Hmm. And if you want it to be more glossy, you could just go in with a gloss but I don't mind just the two products just the pencil and the lip gloss it is just enough for me I feel like I want to do I want to highlight my nose 
I don't know. I think I'm gonna just stuck with where I'm at right now. And to finish that all off, we're gonna be using, of course, the one size setting spray. And this is the Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Sweat Spray, setting spray. Because girl, we're going to the concert. I know it's not supposed to be too hot, but I don't know. I don't know how much they're gonna turn up the heater. Mm-hmm. 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 My God. I don't know what Patrick Starr put in that thing, but oh my god. Okay, so it's seven o'clock right now. We took 45 minutes. I said 40 minutes, but we took 45. And that's okay because we have a nice little beat for 45 minutes. That's not too bad. On our hour did that, okay? It's my go-to fall look with all these products. I'm obsessed. It's giving a subtle, soft, yet so beautiful, velvety, soft matte type of beat. And yeah, I'm loving it. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. And if you want to see more makeup get ready with me video and we could actually do the full outfit this time I'm gonna put a picture of what I'm wearing. My outfit is from Walmart. Can you believe? I did a Walmart fall haul and You can watch that like watch it see some of the pits I got from Walmart affordable fall fashion Scrum de yum yum purple. Okay, so yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see all beautiful people in my next video. Go on big up on yourself. Bye guys Mwah.